Hey everyone, so we just took apart the EVGA FTW3 card. It's a 2080. First ones to do it. I'm sure someone else has already posted stuff because we had a crowd of people taking photos over my shoulder. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I, I really appreciate it. I'm sure you credited us. All right, so you know where it came from, though. Uh, it's a TU-104-400A-A1 GPU. It's an RTX 2080, almost a GTX. Before that, this video is brought to you by Thermaltake's View 37 case. The View 37 focuses on highlighting custom PC builds with its full panoramic window and tinted front acrylic. In our thermal testing, the View 37 performed reasonably well when considering its looks-focused build, which is partly thanks to the airflow design and the removal of a bottom power supply shroud. For a balance of looks and performance, check the link in the description below for the View 37. So this card, we'll talk about the PCB in a moment, VRM, all that stuff, I've, I've got some information, but uh, cooler's pretty straightforward. So it's it's just a bunch of heat pipes on the back, 2.75 slot, really thick all aluminum fin stack, and then three fans, and then there are three fan connectors that uh, plug into the side of the PCB. So I mean, really nothing that different from what we normally work with. It, all three he fan headers plug into the bottom right over here on this card. Uh, we have B-roll taking it all apart if you're curious, but I mean the cooler is pretty straightforward if you've seen previous EVGA coolers. So that's the cooler. As far as the PCB, you already know the GPU uh, is, a, is an RTX 2080. The PCB is using a 12 plus 2 phase design and it is a PWM split to drive two MOSFETs each. So one PWM signal for two FETs, and that is using on semi FD 113170s. We'll talk to Buildzoid about this later. If you want a Buildzoid PCB analysis, we'll probably have one. The controller is a UPI UP9512, and that's what I've got for the, for the BRM specs right now. So that's EVGA's FTW3 as taken down with the uh, at their booth at Gamescom for the RTX 2080. And just one more time here, uh, it is a TU-104-400A-A1 sample. Typically the last A1 just means revision one or revision A1 in this case. So that's what we got for you. Check all of the coverage of EVGA's booth on our channel. It's already up for the other three cards. And then we have B-roll of taking it all apart. I mean, I'll just really quickly cover the base plate. This is entirely new. The uh, folks taking photos over my shoulder probably didn't notice it, but there is a, a plate right in the middle here that's contacting between the VRM components and the uh, the big heat sink. So it's got two sets of thermal pads on this side, on the top side going into the heat sink, and then another set of thermal pads on the back. And it looks like, yes, even a small heat pipe in there. So there's a small nickel plated heat pipe in there, copper nickel plated heat pipe with contact to the MOSFETs, and then another contact plate with the uh, thermal pads of the chokes. And I think that covers the whole card. So uh, yeah, that's EVJ's FTW3. You didn't see it here first, but we were the ones to do it first. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more. Go to store.gamersnexus.net or patreon.com slash gamersnexus to help us out directly. And we're also going to be talking to Der Bauer after this. So check back for that. I'll see you all next time.